Yeah. I don't know if there's any in the container, but have a look. All right. So first thing I want to do is talk about structure and bonding and what it is as an assessment. So this is Chem uh, 2.4. This is known as uh, structure and bonding. If you were looking up the AS number, if you guys were curious, um, it is 91164. Um, this external is worth a little bit more than the other two chemistry externals. This one's actually worth five credits, which is quite nice. Uh, what else do I want to add about this? Yes. If you want to, yes, I have to enroll you for it, and you're going to have to learn it on your own. Okay, that's up to you. I will make a note of it. <laughs> okay, keep going. All right. Uh, so, yeah, structure and bonding, it is worth five credits. Um, structure and bonding is a really weird Frankenstein type of assessment. It was originally two separate exams, and then they were trying to like consolidate things down. And so they Frankenstein two topics together and that's why this is a really weird mix match of questions. So it's quite tricky in a sense that it's gonna require a huge range of skills to be able to do this uh, standard. Um, this standard though is a really good one and the reason why we select it as the one we're gonna do at level two is because it gives you a good foundation on what chemistry is. So the first thing to kind of keep in mind with uh, this is that there are um, three main types of questions. The first type of question is going to be your types of solids. So if you remember with your types of solids, uh, that was talking about your ionic solids your metallic solids Oops, got that. the uh, covalent network uh, solids and then the covalent molecular solids so basically you have those four different types of solids, and the first question is basically going to ask you to compare and contrast their properties. With linkage to particles and bonds. And that stuff you guys should have hopefully already covered um, last term with Ms. Quigley and Mr. Wong. Um, this is the one that I'm going to give you guys practice, a practice question on, on Friday. Are we good so far? Okay. The second type of question that you're going to get is going to be on Lewis structures, which I've heard you guys have already done. Yes? Uh, shapes and polarity. I'm guessing you guys haven't done shapes or polarity yet? No? Okay. This uh, Lewis structure question is actually tied into one of your types of solids. It's just going into more depth. So these covalent molecular ones that is what's tying into your Lewis structures and your shapes and your polarity because this question here is all about molecules. Are you okay with that so far? So that's the next question you're gonna get. And then the third question you're going to get is going to be an energy calculation question. 
So uh, there are going to be multiple versions of how they're going to want this energy calculation. Um, the first one is related to um, bonds. The second one, I should say energy of bonds. The second one is going to have some enthalpy calculation. And in this calculation, you'd be going somewhere from uh, kilograms to energy. You will also be doing the same sort of enthalpy calculation, but you're going to be working in reverse. Energy to kilograms. Um, and then the third type of potential enthalpy calculation is going to have to do with like energy and volume. But don't stress about that just yet. It's just to kind of give you guys an idea of what are the different types of things you're looking at. We good so far? Questions, concerns, comments? Enthalpy. Yeah, feel free to take photos of stuff. I will scan it. I will put it online. I am recording the, the notes as well. We're all back to normal in that sense. All right, good. All right, I'm gonna actually stop the recording because I think it makes sense too, um, because these are kind of like introductory notes and then I wanna give you notes on the actual solids.